present to you a study trying to assess the characteristics of the most invasive fish sheets at the worldwide scale thanks to fish baits. Oh. So, first, the rise of the global trade has led to more and more species introduction and transportation worldwide, and freshwater fish species are among the main introduced taxa, as introduced species occur in all the biogeographical regions. Uh, these introduced species, if they become invasive, can have important ecological impacts, such as the disappearance of native species. But what is exactly an invasive species? So an invasive species is a species which has been transported and introduced by a human pathway beyond the natural geographic ranges. Then, the species has to establish in the new environment, which means reproduce and spread, and then the species has impact. The success of each step of the invasion is not to be influenced by several drivers belonging to species characteristics, such as, for example, um, the ecological tolerance of a species, ecological characteristics, such as the ecological proximity between the native and the introduced environment, and socioeconomic characteristics, such as the human needs of the species. So, it is really important to know which characteristic will influence the invasion in order to effectively prevent and manage future invasions. And to do so, we need to use approaches combining these three types of drivers. Nonetheless, to the present day, several papers are studying the invasion success drivers, based, but they, they mainly focus their analysis at the local scale on a limited number of species, taking into account only one type of drivers, and even if these uh, studies are at the global scale, they mainly focus only on one step of the endangered and the mostly the establishment step. So, our aim in our study was to determine the characteristic of the invasive freshwater fishes at the global scale using 840 freshwater fish species, taking into account the three types of drivers and the three steps of the invasion. So, to do so, we determine the characteristic associated with freshwater fishes that were the most successfully introduced, established, and which have ecological impacts worldwide. And to do so, we use the introduction status and the number of countries where the species have completed each step of this invasion, thanks to the data available in the fish base database. And in order to use the three types of characteristics, we build um, a database containing 14 variables. So first, we gather information about uh, the species characteristics. So we collected um, variables about the way of swimming of species, and we hypothesize that the hydrodynamism and the pectoral fin position are linked with the ability of species to colonize, to spread, and so to establish. And we also collected the parental care, the total length, the main diet, and the number of diet, that are four variables that have been already been linked sorry, with the establishment success in the literature. And finally, we also collected the species order that we use as a potential surrogate for missing characteristics. Second, concerning the ecological characteristics, we collected the main native bioregions and the number of native bioregions, and we hypothesize that these two characteristics are linked with the introduction chances and the propagation pressure, we know that some regions are more prone to import and export the fish species. And we also collected the temperature amplitude and the maximum temperature in the native basins that we use as a proxy of the temperature tolerance, which have already been uh, linked with the establishment success in the literature. And finally, we collected socioeconomic uh, characteristics. <coughs> we collected a uh, seven introduction pathway that are not to be linked with the characteristic of the species introduced. We also collected the number of pathways, which we hypothesize to be linked with the propagation pressure. And we, we also collected the use by human statues that is known to be linked with the chance to be introduced. So once that we have our database, we can begin our analysis. So first, using the introduction status uh, in fish base, we determine what are the main differences between the introduced and the non-introduced species. To do so, we compare each characteristic uh, using all the species globally and using each introduction pathway separately. So for example, we compare all the species introduced through the aquaculture pathway 
who is all the species not introduced to the agriculture pathway. So here it is really important to note that we are searching for the differences between introduced and non-introduced, and not for the main modality for qualitative data. So concerning the global pool, what we can see on the graph here is that the introduced species are faced with a higher temperature amplitude in the native basins than the non-introduced species in red. The introduced species have also a higher number of diets than the non-introduced species. So these two characteristics have already been highlighted in the literature at the local scale with the ability, uh, uh, in link, sorry, with the ability to spread and to establish. But here we link these two characteristics with the introduction step and at the global pool. Then concerning the parental care, so just to explain the non border category corresponds to the lowest level of parental care and the bureau category to the highest level. And what we can see is that in blue here, the, the introduced species are more represented in the broader categories than the non-introduced one. And here again, uh, strong parental care have already been linked in the literature with the establishment success, but only at the local scale. And here we demonstrated its influence at the, glo at the global scale and for the introduction step. <coughs> also concerning the human use, the species introduced uh, are more represented in the human use category and uh, are, are also a higher number of native regions than non-introduced species. And here we hypothesize that um, the, the species, the distribution ranges, sorry, of species having a high number of native regions have more chances to uh, cover human societies and so the species have more chances to be used by humans and so to be transported and to be introduced. And finally, introduced species are also more represented in the Paleartic and the Sino-Oriental region concerning the native regions. And this is certainly due to the most important pathway that has aquaculture and the ornamental pathway that we will see in the next slide. So concerning the aquaculture, the uh, species introduced to aquaculture have a higher temperature amplitude in native basin, a higher number of diet and a higher number of native regions than the, non uh, than the species non introduced to aquaculture. And these three characteristics have been already highlighted for the global pool. <coughs> the species introduced to the aquaculture are also more represented in the plant and nectar category concerning the main diet and in the Neartic and Paleartic regions concerning the native regions. This point can be explained by the fact that the Neartic and the Paleartic regions are economically well-developed regions and are also more prone to import and export species for aquaculture and so to introduce species. And quickly, concerning the ornamental pathway, um, the species introduced through this pathway are rather small species coming from tropical regions which corresponds to the description of the most popular aquarium species and so to the species that have the most chances to be transported and introduced. So just to summarize this first part of this analysis, what we can see is that there is multiple characteristics specific to the introduction step, such as the high temperature amplitude, number of diet and number of native regions. And there is also differences specific to pathways such as the native uh, regions and the main diet. So now we can, uh, uh, we can move on to our second uh, analysis. So here we use a number of countries where the species um, have, uh, have been introduced, established and have impacts into the fish based database. And we determine the characteristics of the species introduced, established and having impact in many countries. So to do so, we use generalized linear models. And here are the models for the global pool. So what we can see is that our model for the introduction and the establishment step have a good explanatory power. We will see also that these two steps have quite the same results. So here are all the variables that have a significant uh, influence on the number of countries where the species are introduced or established. And here are all the variables that have a positive influence on the number of countries where the species are introduced or established. So what we can see 
is that a species introduced and established in a high number of countries are rather a high number of introduction pathways and are rather introduced through the fishery and the aquaculture pathway. This can be due to the fact that these characteristics are linked with a high propagable pressure. The species introduced and established in a high number of countries are also rather from the cyprinodontiform or cypriniform order or from the siluriform order but only if the species have a high number of diets. This is what we can see thanks to the interaction between the variable number of diets and order here. Species introduced and established in a high number of countries have also rather a high level of parental care and a high number of diets. And here again, this is two characteristics that have already been highlighted in the literature at the local scale, but only for the establishment step. And finally, what we can see is that species in established story in a high number of countries are rather lateral background film position, uh, reflecting its use for the propulsion. And what we can hypothesize is that uh, these species have a higher ability to spread and so to establish. Concerning the negative effect, there is only the order and the interaction between the order and the number of diets which have um, a negative effect on the number of countries where species are introduced or established. Take a look now at the impact step. So here, what we can see is that the results are really different from the establishment and the introduction step. Here again, certainly due to the fact that these characteristics are linked with a high propagule pressure. So quickly, concerning uh, the uh, geoculture pathway, here, it seems that it is the order which is an important <coughs> characteristic because the cypriniform and the siluriform uh, species order sorry, are introduced and established in a higher number of countries than the other species. And this can be linked to the fact that uh, these two orders are the main order used in aquaculture. And also, um, concerning the ornamental pathway, here it is uh, the native region, sorry, which seems to be the most important characteristics as the species native from the sino oriental and the neotropical regions are introduced and established in a high number of countries. Here again, it corresponds to the species which are the most uh, popular in the aquarium, uh, aquarium trade, so uh, which have more chances to be introduced and established. So, what we have seen with uh, this uh, study so, so first, this study it was at the global scale, uh, using a high number of species, uh, using the three types of divers and the three steps of the invasion. And thanks to this study, what we highlighted is that is the importance of divers that was uh, only highlighted at the local scale before, such as the parental care and the number of diet. We also uh, highlighted new important characteristics, such as uh, the position of the pectoral fin, for example, for the establishment or the number of pathways for the establishment and the introduction. We also highlighted differences between pathways. Uh, for example, the important characteristic for the aquaculture pathway is the order and the native bioregion for the ornamental pathway. And finally, we highlighted that important characteristics are similar between the introduction and the establishment step, but are very different from the impact step. So these results can have uh, several implications for uh, future model prediction of future or, or, or the management sorry, of the future invasion. And, <laughs> and uh, yeah, uh, just just to the, to finish, I would like to say that this kind of project cannot be possible without a freely available database such as FishBase. So we like to thank all the people working on FishBase to make this kind of project possible. So thank you for your attention. If, if you have questions or even if you have an um, idea of how to interpret my results because it is a work in progress, I will be glad to hear you. Thank you.